Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Welcome to the end of July to August 2018 Love Readings. Thank you guys for all of your support. Thank you guys for all of your likes, subscribes. Thank you guys for all the great readings. And just thank you guys. I feel so blessed um, for all your support. I really appreciate it. I'm going to jump right in because I pre-shuffled everything because I know that I get a lot of complaints about you taking too long to shuffle. So we're just going to jump right in, okay? And then, I'll, of course, I'll clarify so we can get a bigger, better picture of what's going on. All right, so in your current situation, of course, I always use the Celtic Cross. In your current situation for your romantic love life, you have the Page of Wands. Your blockage to your romantic love life is the Wheel of Fortune, which, of course, is a major arcana. Your strength is the King of Swords. Um, your past situation is the Devil, which represents some kind of unhealthy situation, maybe some addiction, maybe a karmic relationship. Um, your strength, excuse me, not your strength, your overall for the month, the, the last week of July, God, I can't talk today. The last week of July into August 2018 is the Nine of Cups. For something about your future that you can't change that will happen, you got the uh, High Priestess. For Spirit's Advice, you have for your romantic love life you got the two of swords okay for something about your love life that you don't know that you need to know you got the four of coins or four of pentacles whichever one you prefer um for your hopes and fears you got the two of coins and your outcome is the temperance the empress and the higher front. Now it's interesting to know in your reading, you do have a lot of major arcanas. So there's a lot of things that are out of your control. Mm. Sorry, just getting a, a sip of tea. So let's see how this story is playing out so far. So it looks to me in your current situation, you have may have gotten a message from someone, uh, maybe in se a sexual nature, uh, could have been younger than you. Um, or it could have been like a creative person that may have come in or a new opportunity for you. Your blockage to your romantic love life is the Wheel of Fortune. This is a major arcana. So basically you're just waiting for things to kind of go into your favor. That's kind of a blockage right now. So you're waiting for things to turn into your favor. All right. Your strength card, you have the King of Swords. Now the King of Swords stands for uh, you guys, um, Virgos in general are loyal they are you know stand up they speak their mind they're very intelligent so i mean i would definitely say that you guys would for sure stand for the king of swords very loyal very intelligent you know very forthwith with your thoughts and uh in relationships you you pretty much tell people you know how you feel and what you're thinking so that's definitely a strength especially when it comes to relationships where a lot of people uh, will get into relationships and they don't speak their mind and that also causes problems and blockages in, in relationships. So, and now in your past situation that has affected the situation with the Page of Wands, you have some kind of karmic situation, some kind of karmic relationship, or some maybe some unhealthy behavior going on here, or there's some obsessions um, that I'm sure you guys are aware of. Then you have the Nine of Cups for your overall. So you're feeling pretty happy and content. Your wishes are fulfilled. You know, you're feeling okay. You're feeling great right now. Well, in, uh, you know, the end of July to August 2018. And then for something that you can't control that will happen, you have the High Priestess. Now, I'm going to have to clarify exactly what this means, but it's a major arcana and it's out of your realm of control. So it could be something in spiritual nature, maybe a spiritual partnership with this page of wands maybe coming in, maybe some type of soulmate connection. Um, obviously, it's something that there's some mystery surrounding that will happen. Um, and also, it could just be the fact that whatever the situation is that we're going to clarify, you have to use your intuition, obviously. And it would make sense because spirits advice is to make a decision. Maybe there's two different situations going on here, 
with a page of wands and maybe a karmic relationship. This could also be a marriage. This also could be maybe some unhealthy behaviors. And you have to make a decision, which is why Spirit told you to make a decision with the Two of Swords. Something about your romantic love life that you don't know is the Four of Coins. So someone in your romantic love life is holding on to something. Maybe they're holding on to their feelings. Maybe the surrounding finances. We'll have to see. But you definitely, in your hopes and fears category, are feeling that things are out of balance. And that, you know, something has to happen so things can come into balance. And what tells me that also is because you have the temperance card for the future outcome. Um, but I definitely see that because it's next to the Empress of Abundance, uh, or, you know, something involving children or marriage or love, it's going to move into a more balanced, committed situation. So let's clarify just to get a bigger picture of what's going on. Okay, so let's find out why we have the page of Virgo, someone arising. The end of August into, excuse me, end of July into August 2018. Virgo, someone arising. Tell me why. We have the page of wands here. Tell me why we have the page of wands. Thank you. So it's saying that we have a world card. So something came to completion. Maybe this unhealthy situation then moved forward into maybe an advance from that person, maybe that you had an unhealthy situation with. And um, they were kind of coming forward and like, hey, you, you maybe something sexual in nature because we have the devil here. But it's come to um, completion. So whatever it is, it's going to come com to completion. So maybe that's why you're feeling like happier. And you have the Empress, the, excuse me, the, <laughs> the High Priestess there. So let's find out why the blockage is the Wheel of Fortune. Why is their romantic uh, love life's blockage the Wheel of Fortune? For Virgo, someone arising. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Thank you. Okay, so either there was some kind of fighting going on, and maybe that's why we have the devil here. Of course, you know, as, as we go forward, we'll get to see how the story unfolds. Or there was a lot of competition surrounding someone, and you were waiting for them to notice you or for things to come back around. And also, because of the fact that your strength here is communication, um, it could be because they see you as an intelligent, uh, smart person, and maybe they'll see through this. So let's see, let's keep going. Why is the devil here for Virgo Sunwind Rising's past situation for the romantic love life? Tell me about the devil. Why is the devil here? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Thank you. Okay. All right. I have several cards, guys. All right. So intuition, something around family, something involving passion, and something about being hurt. Hmm. Interesting. So it would say to me that, um, let me face the cards towards you guys. You're feeling wounded, defensive about maybe something surrounding a passionate situation. Maybe it was someone in your life that did something to you that has caused you to feel this way, to feel that it's unhealthy. And it's definitely something involving marriage because this is, this is the, you know, marriage card. It's, you know, family. And obviously we have the strength card here, which can represent courage, but it also can represent passion. And since this is a love reading and we have it next to a guy that's kind of sitting there like, man, I'm feeling like really wounded and messed up. And maybe you feel like you don't know the whole truth of what really happened in that situation. And maybe that's why you felt that that was unhealthy. And this is why the devil card is here. But obviously because the world card is here, whatever that behavior was, it came to an end. Maybe whatever that passion was there or that situation, maybe there was some kind of third party situation involved and it, it has come to an end. All right, so let's find out why now you're at the 10 of cups. 
Virgo, why is Virgo sun and rising? What do they have? The nine of cups, excuse me, nine of cups. Show me what the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Virgo, sun and rising. The end of July to August 2018. Why the nine of cups? Thank you. Okay, so it looks like the reason why, and, and now I understand why there's a decision that has to be made, some kind of offer, and maybe that also is something to do with this high priestess over here. Okay, maybe this represents a person, maybe this person that this represents is a spiritual um, kind of person or into spiritual topics and so forth and so on. Maybe they're attached to you through marriage. Maybe you felt like there was some kind of things going on that you didn't feel that were healthy in the sexual department and you're feeling wounded or defended, defensive about. So let's find out why the high priest is here. Maybe there's two people here. Okay, why is there a high priest is here for something that's going to happen that Virgo cannot change for the romantic love life? Tell me exactly why there's a high priestess here. Clarify the high priestess for me, please. Show me the card I need to see. 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 Thank you. Okay, so it is a person. It is involving a person. So this high priestess is involving a person. Maybe there's some, maybe you're... The reason why your strength here is communication is that, you know, you need to communicate to this person that you're still feeling like there is some things that you don't know about. Um, let's also do another clarification card on this. Why else is a high priestess here? Can you give me a little bit more information about this high priestess? Thank you. Something's out of balance when it comes to love. Okay. And there was also a fire sign here too. Okay. So we got this card and then we got this card and we got someone walking away and we also got the sun card. So, all right. So let's try to kind of figure this out here. All right. What does the sun represent? Either the sun can represent happiness. Um, it can represent children. It can represent, and I want to say maybe children because then we have the empress here. So maybe something surrounding children. And then we have the King of Wands. Now the King of Wands can be an actual person or it could be something passionate, a passionate romance, a creative person. And then we have something out of balance and someone walking away. So maybe what happened was, maybe we have this high priestess here because this represents a person who in your life was maybe a um, somebody you had children with and that you felt like the passion in this relationship um, was somewhat out of balance and maybe you felt like walking away or maybe they walked away. But I feel like it's you because Spirit's saying for you to make a decision. So maybe you need to make a decision whether or not to walk away or maybe you need to make a decision on to whether or not you want to stay because you feel like things are somewhat out of balance as we see from here. And obviously, sorry, there's some siege in my card. <laughs> um, obviously, you have to make some kind of decision here and someone in your life is holding on to you. So that's how I kind of want to interpret this. All right, so let's see what this decision is about. Let's get more clarification on what your advice is, Spirit, for Virgo someone rising involving this situation. Tell me about the two swords, please. Okay, thank you. Wheel of Fortune. Oh my lord. Uh, so yeah. Okay, so we're, we're back around again here. So something, maybe you feel like you're competing with someone else. Maybe this is a marriage situation and you feel like you're competing with someone else and you're waiting for things to come back around in your favor. You feel like you're having competition. There's some kind of mystery involved in this situation that you're unaware of. You feel that it's unhealthy. And the reason why you have to make a decision is because you're waiting for things to work out in your favor so that you can make a decision. Maybe you're not able to at the moment, maybe because of finances, maybe because of something that's stopping you from doing that. 
Hmm. It's obviously under your control. So let's see what the four of coins is. Something about Virgo's love life that they don't know that they need to know about this four of coins. Okay, wow. Again, we got a lot, a lot of cards here. All right. Um, there was definitely some kind of sudden event that happened with this person and someone either moved away, sailed away, went into calmer waters and didn't know if they wanted to continue fighting for this situation. But they obviously have decided to hold on regardless of what happened with this sudden situation. Even though maybe someone walked away, I think it probably wants to go more like that, maybe more like that. That seems more right to me. So there's a tower moment. Someone's like, should, should I fight for this? Should I walk away? Maybe they did walk away, but they're still holding on. They're still holding on to you. Why do you feel like things are out of balance for you? So obviously this is what that's about. Is it finances? What is the out of balance here? Why is there two coins for Virgo? Oops. All right, let me get that. Ah, you feel like you're defending yourself. Oh, okay, so you feel like you're defending yourself or your options or what you're go what's going on in your life. That makes total sense. So I think at this point, it feels to me like there was something that happened that was unhealthy. Uh, maybe uh, this was a committed, serious relationship. And maybe there was some kind of cheating going on in the sexual realm and someone felt defense defensive or, uh, you know, wounded about it. There wasn't exactly whole truths going on, or there was still some mystery surrounding this, or it was a person who um, was a little bit more spiritual or held back and giving something to you, or they had a lot of uh, good intuition. Um, obviously, this involves a person over here with the high priestess. Maybe this person has good intuition. Um, but there needs to be some communication. Maybe they're still holding back some things. And maybe the thing about the something you need to know, even though a lot of things happened, they're still holding on to you. And that things will move into your favor and you'll be able to make that decision. The final outcome shows me, because it's next to the Empress card, I feel like there is balance being brought back into a committed situation. Um, and you'll be getting some kind of abundance or this involves children or maybe there's some kind of pregnancy. There was another sign that, that something happened with pregnancy. So this can be connected with you for all any of the cross watchers. Um, and we have commitment. So maybe the temperance is bringing things back to balance. Let's see. So why do we have the temperance card here? Thank you. Uh, of course it's fall on the floor. All right. So, yeah, so the temperance card, things were brought back into balance because now we have this cups, this individual that took a leap of faith. And it looks like the empress, why the empress card here? Empress. Oh, come on. Why the empress card? The empress, the empress card. Virgo, something arising. Show me what I need to know. Why the empress? Yep, something in love and passion. Soulmate connection, and then we also got, yeah, so, and some kind of commitment because you get the hierophant, something serious and committed. So, for sure, this clarifies for me that things were brought into balance. A decision was made to move forward with this situation because you, you know, you may have been hurt in the past or you felt like things are out of balance, but. You know, you took a leap of faith to move forward in the situation and that there is love here because now that's what represents not pregnancy, but maybe love in this situation for this person. Maybe it's a committed situation. Maybe you have children with this person and there's passion here and there is commitment here. So that's good. And maybe that's why spirit, you know, said things will work out in your favor and move towards you even though this was a blockage for you, the Wheel of Fortune, because of maybe the fighting or maybe nothing, you know, things not really being solidified for you about the truth and stuff like that. Things will come back into your favor through making the decision and this person still wants to hold on and be with you. 
And I feel like this person is either, because of the high priestess here, is either a water sign, because water signs are usually very highly intuitive, or, yeah, I think this person is a water sign, because we see have a lot of water here. We have the king of cups here, the high priestess, and it also could be, I see water again here, let me see. Maybe an air sign. Could be an air sign. Let's see. Let's just clarify that Hierophant real quick. I just want to see what's up with the Hierophant, just to be sure that's the King of Pentacles, not another person going on here. What's the Hierophant about? Start with someone I'm raising. Thank you. No, this is love. Okay. I got it. Okay. So, committed relationship, love. All right, let's just do some oracle cards. See what else is going on with you guys. So whatever's happening with you or has happened with you in the past, it's going to clear up. And it looks like some things are going to come to the surface and things are going to work out. So I'm pretty happy with this reading. Even though there were some out of balance things going on here, and maybe even someone walked away. They are still holding on to you, so you'll be able to make that decision when things work out. You know, things roll back. When the Wheel of Fortune starts to turn into your favor, you'll be able to make that positive decision and move into this committed situation, bring things back into balance, and take that leap of faith. So, show me what I need to know about Virgo, Sun, and Rising. Show what I need to know. So, what I need to know. The romantic love life. Thank you. Yeah, it's safe for you to love. That's what came out. Anything else I need to know? Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy. So you need to forgive somebody, probably, and know that they're holding on to you and they're still committed to you. Even though maybe some things were unhealthy in the past, it's moving forward. And things are going to work out for you. Don't worry, Virgo. I love you guys. Let me see what else I can get for you. What else do I need to know about Virgo Summer and my rising? for the end of July into August 2018. Show me also what to know. Just, you know, pretend the relationship is, you know, since you guys are in a committed relationship or a serious relationship, it's gonna to go to a more higher level. And sometimes, you know, things happen in relationships and if we forgive, it can just be like starting over again, you know, taking that leap of faith. And, you know, what else do I need to know? You don't want to tell me anything else. Okay. Um, let's let's use the Archangel Michael deck. All right. From the Archangel Michael deck, what else do I need to know? Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much for your help. Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. End of August. Excuse me. End of July into August 2018. Show me a card I need to see. Show me a card I need to see. Show me a card I need to see. Thank you. Sorry, guys. It's taking so long. Okay. Lean on God and the angels for support. Okay, so I think pretty much this is pretty obvious to me that there were some unhealthy things that happened to you in the past with either water sign or since we have some fire sign stuff going on here, either water sign or fire sign, and you had to make a decision whether or not you wanted to walk away or you wanted to stay in it because you felt like there was things that were out of balance. But it is safe for you to love again. And it looks to me like this committed relationship or this relationship that you're in is worth saving because this person still wants to hold on to you. So you can make the decision once things, you know, work out in your favor, once this wheel of fortune finally is not, not a blockage for you. You can finally move forward and, you know, start going further in your relationship and have a happy, loving relationship. I love you, Virgo, guys. Um, if you like this video, please like, subscribe. Um, if you want a personal reading, you felt like this wasn't personal enough for you, you can always go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or you can check out the description box below, and you'll see more information about the readings. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great August.